another video y'all and as y'all see by the freaking title we are doing a install my own wig video so yeah, before we even get into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button because y'all gonna love this video like this is some very different con content than what y'all used to see on my channel um i never installed a wig before i never tried to install a wig before so this is very 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 new to me and i'm so excited to do this with y'all i'm so excited to go on this new journey with y'all i do want to start installing my own wigs and stuff you know here and there so I'm just so excited, but let's just get into this video. Let's get into this wig because shout out to Elfin Hair for sponsoring this video. This is what it came in. This cute little pink box. And we have a 22 inch HD 5x5 closure wig, y'all. And it has a band on it. So if you want to like do it like a glue list or whatever. Um, and y'all, this let's get into this lace. This lace, baby, is giving what lace like what yes so yeah i never saw a wig before y'all like i said i always you know get my hair done uh, i never ever 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 installed a wig before so i'm excited i have all the stuff right here i have literally everything like i have these foam heads so before we get into actually like customizing a wig i'm gonna bleach the knots um and all that good stuff before we even get into that i'm going to dye the hair black because we love a jet black wig we love a jet black wig like yes we do so i'm gonna dye it with this adore jet black rinse i'm gonna let it sit on there for like an hour and then i'm gonna come back and then we're gonna you know get prepared to bleach those knots and all that stuff y'all i'm excited y'all been watching so many tutorials and stuff so this should be very 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 good i'm trying to like go on this like journey where i'm like you know doing installation videos a wig installation videos and all that good stuff like i want to bring some different new stuff to the channel so i think y'all gonna like this i think y'all gonna y'all gonna like this because like what if i can do it y'all can do it so let's get into it okay guys so to start off i just laid out aluminum foil and basically because i'm rinsing the hair i didn't dye it with a buy with a box dye i dyed it with a rinse so if y'all know about the adore rinse or any type of rinse it gets everywhere so i just laid out the aluminum foil so it, does, so it doesn't get on the counter and then i laid the hair out so that i can apply the rinse and it does not get on the counter and stain things up okay so now that the hair is laid all out i got me some gloves put my gloves on so i don't stain my nails because that rinse literally stains nails really bad so I used um, the color Jet Black in the Adore brand to rinse my hair. And um, normally, if it was bundles, I'll like lay all the bundles out flat and just do it how I'm doing it now. I was kind of being lazy, so I just poured it all over the wig. And then I used my uh, brush to just lay it all out, spread it all out on the hair. And I realized, like, okay, that was one bottle and it barely went anywhere. So I'm like, yeah, maybe I need to just um, dip it in, in water, like, uh, what is it called? Like, water rinse it. So, that's what you guys see me doing right now. Just, I, I put me some hot water in the sink. And I don't think it matters the temperature of the water, but I use hot water. And I put the other uh, bottle of rinse inside the water. And I just dipped it in and out until the whole wig was covered in the black rinse. So, first, I'm going to lay these baby hairs down. Not even baby hairs, just the excessive hair is just like sticking it. So when I put my cap on, everything is laid down flat. And then we're gonna take our cap. Put it on. Cut us a hole in the ear. Like that, and then we're gonna take our spray, 
let that dry and I'm gonna do like one or two more coats after it dry. And then I'm gonna go over it again with another. Let that dry. We need this to be melted, 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 right? melted. All right, so next I'm gonna take my MAC palette and this is like just some um, powder foundation in the color C8. And I'm gonna just go over the front with it. Honestly, I've been seeing people use the cream powder. So, I mean the cream foundation. Um, I don't have any of that and I forgot to purchase it when I went to the store. So I'm just gonna use, I didn't like that either. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use our Fit Me foundation, y'all. And I'm just put this all over the front. And I'm gonna actually mix it because I have this is my color, but I have another one that's also my color. So that is Fit Me in 330. And then um, I have 335, I believe that's my color as well. And I'll be mixing them. So we have 335, which is also my color. And just going to be so it can be more fun. And I've also seen somebody use a beauty blender. Use this as well. I just want this to be as perfect as possible and y'all remember this is my first time drawing this so don't judge me okay it's the judge free zone <laughs> okay so we're gonna go in the kitchen y'all because the wig should be done um rinsing so i'm gonna rinse it out and then we're gonna start bleaching the knots so let's go okay so right here i'm just laying the wig on the mannequin head so that I can bleach the knots but let me tell you something please do not be like me and do this this is where I messed up at literally because y'all will see why hopefully I recorded it but I'm editing and doing my voiceover as I go so hopefully when we get to that part I did record where I messed up at because Please do not do this. When you bleach your knots, just hold it or lay it on the counter. Do not compress it onto a mannequin head because you will literally bleach more than the knots. You will bleach your the actual hair on the wig too. So please do not do this part. But I'm going to put this in there just so that you guys can see trial and error because this was a big no for me. Okay, so I used the BW2 um, bleaching powder and I poured the whole entire thing inside of the bowl which I shouldn't have did because I didn't even need it all. I didn't measure anything. I just went in straight for it. But really, you should be using at least... So, one tablespoon of the powder equals one tablespoon of the liquid. And I used the level 30 liquid. And as y'all see, I'm just adding, adding, adding until I felt like it was enough. And then I used the um, popsicle sticks to stir it. And I had the perfect consistency. Like, it's supposed to be like a two-paste kind of paste where it's not and I just added more because clearly you need more but it's supposed to be like a really like pasty too pasty consistency it's not supposed to be runny when you pick it up with your spoon your brush or whatever you're using to mix it with it should not be falling off as you guys can see that's the perfect consistency like that was actually really perfect but the way I applied it was wrong so as you guys can see I am applying it to the lace at this point and this is where I went wrong, like I told you guys. And hopefully you guys can see. I hope I hope I showed y'all the results of this because this bleach literally went straight through the hair. When I say straight through, like the top part of my hair on the wig was bleached. It was blonde. Literally like blonde, blonde. Um, so when you're applying the bleach, make sure it's not on the inside out on the mannequin head. 
And when you're applying it, apply it softly. Like, I'm applying it perfectly. It's softly. It's like, I'm not applying pressure and all of that stuff. But because the hair is compressed onto and the lace is compressed onto the mannequin head, it just seeped through and bleached the hair as well, which was not a good thing because I had to correct it by re the hair with the black, the little bit of black rinse that I had. Luckily, I had a um, black rinse left because it, it helped. So, yeah, how I'm doing this right here is, wrong so i'm putting aluminum foil on and when i put this aluminum foil on before i even put it on i noticed that the hair was bleaching but i didn't know that it was the hair until i came back five minutes later and later to check on it and all the hair was blind y'all so i had to take it off wash it out and freaking correct it y'all this was the worst mistake ever but i did fix it and yeah now i'm just using my black rinse the little rinse that i had as you guys can see kind of on the roots like it did turn blonde like so I'm just putting a, uh, I put some black rinse like on the hair and like on my comb and I'm just brushing through it to make sure all the black rinse get on it from the roots to you know the re through the rest of the hair so you don't see the blonde it did not cover it up all the way when I rinsed it out but you literally cannot tell like it's not bad at all once I start like plucking and installing it it just looks like scalp so that was a good thing that I was able to correct it because I was literally a nervous wreck. Like, y'all, literally. Now it's plucking time. So I was trying to see because I believe this did come like kind of pre plucked. So it was not as hard for me to pluck, but I still did want to pluck because I never plucked before. And I wanted to see, you know, how it goes. So I did purchase a slanted um, tweezer and I'm just holding. I pin the uh, the closure back down and I'm just holding the hair back as I pluck and then while I'm plucking the technique I'm doing basically is I'm plucking and I'm skipping a spot and I'm plucking skipping a spot plucking so it's not like super overly plucked and it looks more like a natural hairline um as you guys can see I'm just plucking 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 away and I'm actually starting to see a difference so I'm feeling myself a little bit like it's starting to look real good look at that don't play I was so serious too <laughs> And then as you pluck in, just comb so that the excess of hair that is, like, coming out will, you know, go away. But I'm still plucking. And that's looking real good, y'all. I do not play. Like, yes. So I'm just doing the same thing that I did on the other side to this side. And just plucking away so I can get the same type of look that I did on the other side on this side. So, yeah. Pluck, 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 pluck. All right. So after plucking, I'm going to cut my cap to where to my liking where i would like my lace to lay um however big or small your forehead is however you want wherever you want your lace to lay is where you're going to cut your gap so that's what i'm doing and i'm just cutting off like the excessive like pieces that's sticking up even though that really don't matter because when you put the glue on that's going to lay everything down. So now I'm on the other side cutting the part where my ear is at. And I'm cutting like any type of way only because. And as you see the sides are not all the way glued down because it's only a closure. So the sides don't matter. That's going to get cut later on in the install anyway. But yep I'm just peeling it back as far as I want it to be and to go and just cutting away. And Cutting the other side now, and then I'll cut the back last just so that it's not hanging in the back. Sometimes people sew it down, but I clearly can't sew it down. So, yeah. So, now that that is all cut off, I'm going to put my wig on and make sure that it fits right, fits tight, and all that good stuff. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is pull the, the I keep saying frontal, the closure up onto my forehead so I can see exactly where I want to lay it and so I can see um, how much glue to put on when I do start putting the glue on. Okay, before I even put it on, I took it back off because I did forget to put the foundation on to the lace. So, yeah, don't forget to put the foundation on to your lace, y'all, so everything can match up. And then now I am hot combing all the hair back. So when it's time to glue it down, there's no hair in the way. And I'm just showing you all the lays, how good it look, how good the part look. Yeah. So now it's time to put the glue on. I am putting the first layer on right now. And as I go on, you guys, I will be putting three 
of these layers on. So I'm just using the back of my cutter that I cut the lace with um, to just spread it evenly and stuff like that. Make sure it's fl uh, flatly laid, pressed down. You don't want it to be really like thick and bulky. You want it to be looking flat so that it can dry easily. So this is a first, nope, actually I did not record the other two layers. So this is all three layers are on there and done now. So now that all three layers are done and applied and dry, you want it to be clear when it dries. You're going to bring your lace up and you're going to flat it, flatten it down. Make sure it's flat and laid down on there good. And you should feel it getting tight. Like it should be tight. You should know. You'll know when it's on there good when you feel it. It, it should be really, really tight. So now that the lace is down, I have it where exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to spray it with, got to be sprayed and use my fingers to, you know, spread it in, spread it in real good. And that just give it more security. And now I'm just taking my elastic band and I'm going to lay that down while I try to style it. <laughs> so now that it's laid down good. Y'all, I was on TikTok. I was on live um, while I was doing this. So if I keep looking over, don't mind that. But. Now that everything is laid down and stuff, I'm basically just trying to figure out, like, if I want to do a middle part, side part, all that good stuff. But I was going to do a middle part, but then again, I'm like, no, I'll do a side part. But I did style for the middle part, as y'all are going to see. And right now, I f I'm like, okay, it's not, like, tight in the back. So I have to, like, take the clips that sh it come with combs in the back. I had to, like, tuck them in so that it was secured and get secure now so we're gonna do the middle part i just hot comb like everything down and stuff and then i realized like yeah i don't think i want to do a middle part because i don't know it wasn't giving but it's giving scalp on here dog like look at it it's giving very much scalp i'm using my uh sleek stick i don't even know what brand it is but the brand really doesn't matter i don't have a like a specific brand that i use i just go to the business by store and just buy any brand but to slick you know make sure everything is flat you want to use a slick stick and then a hot comb of course and the middle part was gonna give i should have did the middle part it was cute but i ended up doing a side part as you guys will see in two seconds there we go so right now i'm just perfecting my side part i'm using the rat tail uh part of the comb to get that real like perfect straight part and when i tell you thumbs up yeah <laughs> y'all tiktok the live was like geeking geeking your girl up look at that part yes that's giving so now now that i got the part right how i want it to be i'm using my slick stick again to you know lay everything down before i hot comb it and i don't know y'all comment down below if y'all know any like hot comb um brands that i should use because my hot comb it don't get that hot it, it did it did it did what it's supposed to do it did the job but it didn't get that hot. So, yeah, I'm just hot combing and everything down so it can be, you know, real flat and giving the girls what it's supposed to give at the top. And it kept getting stuck because, I don't know, it was like some thread in the wig right there on that side and it kept getting stuck. But, whatever, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Ah! That looked good. Like, at this point right here, I was like, yes, I'm proud of myself. This is going to be a good install. And this is my first time. I can't believe it. So, now I'm just, you know... Pinning my hair up so that I can take my elastic band off and start cutting the lace. And I'm just showing y'all how good it looks. Like, yes, it's giving scalp. So now I'm going to use, I should have used scissors, but I end up just using the razor. Um, and I'm just, like, cutting three different sections so that it's easy for me to, you know, just go in and cut the lace off, as y'all see. So I have my three little tabs. I'm just showing y'all. And then now I'm just going to go in and start cutting. And y'all, this is where I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Like, look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> when, I, when I cut that first piece off, I was nervous. Like, oh my goodness. And I'm cutting in a zigzag motion. And I learned that on YouTube. Like, cut in a zigzag motion. So, it's not a straight, harsh line. And as you guys can see, look. I'm like, oh shit, did I fuck up? But yeah, I did good though. Look, I, I look like I know what I'm doing. It look real good. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. So yeah, just keep cutting, 
cut it in a zigzag motion or like a more like edgy motion how I'm doing it so it's not a complete straight, a complete straight line. Sorry, y'all. I can't talk today. I don't know why. And so now I'm just doing the last little piece. And y'all see like it's like residue only because of the spray and stuff that I use. So I'm going to get that off with alcohol later. Yes. Yep, mm -hmm. it's, it's giving, it's giving. So I'm just going to spray it again with some more got to be spray. Make sure it is secure, lay down, and then I'm going to lay, put my elastic band on one more time so it can melt up in that skin. Like, that elastic band was my best friend. Like, it's literally my best friend. Like, it gets the job done. It just looks so good once you put it on and take it off. It looks real, real, real good. Okay, so now that the elastic band is off, y'all, this is it's getting real. I'm um about to start cutting my baby hair. So I'm using the back of the uh, comb again, the rat tail parts to, you know, section off my baby hairs. And how I'm doing it is I'm going in like a halfway circular, like C motion to, you know, section the hairs off for my baby hairs. And I had to look at a couple pictures because I didn't know like how to do like, how I should section it off. So I was on TikTok a lot, y'all. And then I'm just doing the same thing on the other side, going in like a halfway circular C motion to get the other baby hairs. And I was on the phone, y'all. I was I don't know what I was talking about or who I was even talking to. But yeah. I'm using high comb now to, you know, flatten out the baby hairs. Oh, I burnt myself. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, the high comb is just to like lay it down to set, help it separate from the other hair. And I'm going to pin my hair up again with a little banana clip. And now I'm just using the slick stick again to lay them baby hairs down. Let's talk about these baby hairs, okay? <clears throat> when I tell y'all, I was freaking stressed out because I, listen, y'all finna see. Like, okay, so I'm cutting it right here. I was cutting it downwards because I was in a tutorial, somebody was doing it, cutting it downwards. And then I had start. okay, so well, now I'm just, cutting this side again because that was clearly too long and I cut it the first time and I was scared to cut it too short so yeah so now I'm taking some mousse which I should never did this because I was supposed to curl them first and as y'all see I realized like oh dang and I'm about to burn myself oh I didn't burn myself this time but I'm burn myself watch and then um so you can either curl it up or curl it down but I think I like curling it down more because I curled it up and it was like giving me a hard time. So I'm just like, maybe I should have curled it down. So now I gave up on the other side. I just started doing it this side again. Like I'm cutting it some more as you guys can see. And I still think I cut it, didn't cut it short enough. So um, I'm about to put mousse on it again. I don't know why I kept doing this because then I'm like, look. <laughs> I'm like, look, there I go, burning myself. <laughs> but, yeah, so I still cut it, didn't cut it short enough. So I'm about to use my mousse and, you know, lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. I lay it down. <laughs> okay, so this was really irritating me because it just was not looking right. I'm like... And then now that, okay, so I'm going to try to insert, like, a picture or a video of, like, days later after I was still, like, tweaking around and messing around with it. I did cut the baby hair shorter, so it looked way more better than actually, like, how it looked. It, like, swooped all the way. It was That was too much. But I did end up going in and fixing it. So I'm cutting that side more. And then I realized, like, wait, maybe I should pluck it. Because it was looking too thick. Like, I don't know. It's just not looking right. So I plucked that side some more. And it actually worked. It actually looked better after I plucked it in. And then I think I'm going to cut it again, y'all. Because it just was, I don't know. Oh, no, I didn't cut it again. But 
So now y'all see it's looking thinner. It's looking good. It's looking better. And I'm just using more mousse to, you know, lay it down. And right there, I used some got to be a gel to like lay that the roots down because they were sticking up. I don't know why I'm sticking up. So I used some got to be to, you know, lay that down because I don't like how I was sticking up like that. If y'all got any suggestions on like what, what products to use for baby hairs, comment down below. Help your girl out. But I think I did pretty good though still. Like... I did pretty good. And as y'all see, I'm pulling the baby hairs back up. Y'all, I kept playing around with these baby hairs because they just was not giving to me. So, I'm cutting this some more. And, y'all, look at my face. I was so serious. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to get this right because I just had to get it right. And it still was too long. Like, I should have cut it way, way, way more, y'all. But I'm all about trial and error, so... I'm going to keep doing something until I get it right, y'all. Like, and remind y'all, I'm going to keep telling y'all this is my first time. Okay, period, period, period. I had cut it some more, y'all. I kept cutting the baby hairs. Look at them. So, they're looking good now. So, now that they're all cut and laid down, I'm going in with my hot comb again to lay the top down some more and just style it more better now that I have everything, you know, secured. So, going in with the... With the um, I was gonna say bobby pin. What the heck? With the high cone, y'all. With the high cone, and just making sure everything laid down. Look at that. Ooh, like for this my for this be my first time, y'all. A a e. I did that. Like I was so happy. Like I could not believe that I actually did that. So now I'm just going in with my um water, and I'm just spraying it with my spray bottle. Spraying it, spraying it, spraying it till it's all wet. And I and I did end up wine curling it like days later. It was real cute. So now I'm just going in with my wig brush and I'm, you know, just brushing through it. So after I brushed it and stuff, I was just getting a feel for it. Like, yeah, feeling myself. I was so proud. Like, yes, girl, you did that. Post for him, post for him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Period. Yeah. All right, y'all. I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was something new for me. I feel like I did a good job. Um, I'm going to probably put some makeup like in my part because I've been seeing them do that. And other than that, I'm good to go. I'm going to lay my baby hairs down while we get on the bus. And yeah, y'all. I hope you guys love this video once again. Make sure, sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below. And let me know, let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this because I know it's a lot of people out there that you know, want to start their own wigs and probably scared like I was. But you got to just try it. You never know until you try it. So try it out. Use my um, tutorial as your guide. And because I'm a beginner. And y'all, when I tell y'all I messed this closure up when I first did it, I bleached it. And I couldn't even get it on camera because I was panicking so freaking hard. But I did it. And it's, it's done. So I'm excited. So good luck. To everybody who tries to do their own um, frontal closure or whatever. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. And we on the road to 15k so make sure y'all subscribe. To my, hit the subscribe button. Bye. Alright y'all so I just wanted to get on here and show y'all that I styled the hair. And I'm just winding it. Just throwing some wands in it real quick. But it's okay yeah. Let's stay together, you and me, boy. There's no one like you around.